So you have got your Facebook page ready. You have started filling it with content and now you're looking to increase your reach, increase your audience. And it's time to start advertising. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial at The Marketing Guy. And in this tutorial, we're going to start looking at Facebook ads and see what are the kind of objectives available to you when you're creating a Facebook ad. To get started, you will have to go under create ads. Your ad account is being loaded. All right. So when creating a Facebook ad, there are three major steps, which you can see on the left hand side. One is called campaign objective. So we have to select the kind of campaign objective. What are we looking to get out of this ad that we're trying to create? Second is the ad set, which means selecting the audience who will see your ad, selecting the placements of your ad. Do you want your ads to be placed on Facebook mobile, Facebook desktop, on the newsfeed, on the right hand side, on Instagram and things like that and selecting the budget and schedule, how much money you would want to put into the ad, what time of the day or what day of the week do you want to run your ads. And finally, there is the ad format and media, which means do you want to show a video ad or a carousal ad or an image ad and basically designing and creating the content of your ad. So in this video, let's talk about the different kind of marketing objectives that you can achieve with Facebook ads. So as you can see that while creating a campaign, there are three basic kinds of bundles, awareness, consideration and conversion. So if you were looking to create an ad just for more awareness, just to reach out to more people, you would create an awareness ad. Now there are three different kinds of awareness ad options that Facebook gives you. First one is brand awareness. So what this means is that Facebook is going to try and show your ad to people who are more likely to remember your ad after they see the ad. You can you can adjust the number of times someone should see your ad in a day. Uh, and yeah, and the, basically the goal is to make sure that these people remember your brand and the next time they see your ad again, they can recall your page, your brand. Local awareness is mostly for local businesses, say like a restaurant who would want to advertise to people near their uh, location, near their business. They can use local awareness ads and reach is just basically to, to make an ad and reach out to as many people as you can. Now, keep in mind that whatever kind of ads you're creating in Facebook, every ad will have a different kind of placement options, different kind of budgeting options and different kinds of format and media. So for example, some ads might be, you might be able to place them everywhere on Facebook and Instagram, while some ads would probably go only on the mobile app uh, or the mobile web and things like that. Uh, for some ads, you might be able to pay per conversion, uh, pay per click, while in some ads you will pay only per impression. So that is something that is different for each kind of campaign that you select and we'll get into that once we start creating ads for each kind of uh, campaign. Now let's move under consideration. Um, so under consideration we have five kinds of ads like you can see. The first one is called traffic and it's as simple as it gets. It's an ad, ad to get more traffic to your website, to your mobile app. Um, and the goal here is basically to just get someone to use your product, just try and reach out to someone and get them to consider your product. Engagement is uh, more about trying to get them to engage with your page, your app, uh, like your page, maybe ads around an event that you're having and get them to engage with your event page. So that's what comes under engagement. App installs is again, if you have an Android or an iOS app, uh, you can show ads specifically to maybe Android or iOS users and get them to install your app and pay Facebook on these app installs. Video views. If you have created a video and you want people to view your videos, you can reach out to more people uh, with video view ads. Lead generation is something uh, very interesting. 
uh, what happens is when someone clicks on your ad a form opens up inside facebook and you can get the user to fill in their details like name email id phone number and they can submit a form from within facebook itself and you receive all these all the data that they have filled out uh the best part is that for most of these forms if you're looking for things like email id phone number name uh the city the person lives in for these kind of things facebook already has all the data so the form is always pre-filled and all the user has to do is submit we'll get into lead generation ads in much more details in the coming few videos um now let's talk about conversions um if you're looking to if you're looking to pay facebook per conversion say per registration on your uh, app or your website or or whatever you define as a conversion you can go for conversion ads here the goal is again to not just get people aware or consider your brand it's about getting them on your product and trying to make a conversion product catalog sales is something extremely interesting it's used by a lot of e-commerce stores so if you recall the last time you went on a website like amazon or flipkart and say you were searching for jeans and when you came back on facebook you saw flipkart or amazon ads which was filled with different kinds of jeans that they sell so what you can do with product catalog sales is you upload your entire product catalog on facebook and when someone visits your uh, your website and goes through some of your products they can immediately start seeing ads um, around the same product category on facebook store visit ads is more for local businesses again and this is more about uh, those offline businesses and trying to get nearby people to come down to your store and make purchases so this is very interesting uh, since for the first time a platform an online platform like facebook is trying to drive offline conversions for you we'll get into this later as well so there it is we've discussed all the different kind of campaign objectives that are available on facebook in the next tutorial we'll go ahead and and look at the audience placement and budget options for any one of these uh, objectives so that you get an idea of what you're going to deal with when you're creating ads so we'll probably start with creating page like ads the most basic kind of ads which will come under engagement and uh, we'll take it up from there and move to other objectives i hope you like this video and learn something new come back again for the next tutorial and we'll look at audience placement budget and schedule thank you